मुपेत्या पुनर्जन्म दुखालयमशाश्वत नाप्नुवंती महात्मा नहा समसिद्धि परमाम गता हा After attaining me in the great soul so our yogis in devotion never return to this temporary world which is full of miseries because they attain the highest perfection here krishna is telling a way by which you can attain him who is telling the way krishna himself then that's the perfect way and krishna is saying why you want to stay here what is the nature of this world दुखाले so people don't question this why i am being forced to suffer why this question should come no but no no i will uh, i'll accept the suffering no you can't you will kick out any day even you accept the suffering you cannot stay here permanently yeah. so people don't talk about it what do we do with the suffering in this world actually the suffering in this world is an impetus to surrender to krishna you should see it in that way it is an impetus you know every krishna's design is perfect so there can nothing sad in krishna's design is there possible anything sad propa says a famous statement there is nothing lamentable in krishna's kingdom therefore a great devotee even when there is a suffering a suffering a part of his nature he takes it as krishna's mercy and when somebody comes to this platform that it takes suffering also as krishna's mercy what happens then he is going back to krishna's kingdom becomes a daya bhag becomes his right very famous shloka uh, what is the shloka daya bhag theek hai so this is our opportunity actually every moment of life we see actually krishna's mercy and suffering is only an impetus what an impetus because we forget why it is an impetus because we do not see this world is dukkhale ma shashvata we want to make a permanent settlement here and uh, we want to be very happy here so krishna gives us a reminder uh, he gives us some kind of a surprise quiz so you can see you become alert ah uh, to see the very major exam which is going to come why you get surprise quiz so the major exam you can see so similarly this body is nothing it is just an instrument which is surrounding me the soul and the instrument is very delicate actually if you see the instrument various tubes are there various bones are there muscles are there blood vessels are there nerves are there and anything and all these things are not everlasting they have their life and as it starts breaking down it gives lot of discomfort anybody can see true so why did krishna design like that he could have designed a permanent body the body which is always happy like devata's body do not undergo this old age diseases even you go reach brahma's place next shloka we say abrahma bhuvana loka you even you reach the brahma's place or you go to the lowest place anywhere you go what will happen still dukhalam ashashata every place is a place of misery therefore this problem they are not solving they can see that every day in front of them there is a problem in this world but they have no solution and they don't talk about it their solution is sometimes funny in future the future of so many things so i am suffering now in future we will make one medicine and will give you one capsule you'll not have any disease that's fine but i want now something 
because 300 years nothing has happened. The four problems have remained where they are. I told this point previously also. Actually, we have not progressed one inch. This is very important. Otherwise, you will not become serious in spiritual life. Getting this point? We, they say, no, we are developing advancement of civilization is happening. Modern world. What is modern? Sun was rising in the east previously. Now also is rising in east only, no? Correct? Apple was falling from the tree on the ground. Now it is going reverse or what? What is modern in this world? Nothing. Same it is. Simply how are they create? Modern, modern. They think we will go to America, see what you will see there. Same trees are there, roads are there. Nothing to see actually. When you go there, you all the hawa goes out. You get bored actually. So this is actually a, what do you say, a propaganda. This is the modern world. We are advancing. My real problems are birth, old age, disease, death. They were same 300 years ago, before this modern science started. And they are same where it were. Nobody has touched this problem. They have touched other things. I can create one Sputnik, one satellite. It's like India has thrown yesterday, 20 satellites. And everybody is busy about it. But the point is, <laughs> we are not saying that is not an achievement, but your problems are well where you were, where it were, no? Did that change? Is it that now because 20 satellites are thrown, I will stop becoming an old man? But people are so dull-headed in Kaliuga, they cannot understand what? That their Krishna consciousness is actually an area we have to be very, very serious. Otherwise, we get cheated. Unless you are serious, you cannot see through the farce going on. Nobody is able to solve your real problem. Then only you will read Bhagavad Gita. Then only you will go to the temple of Krishna. If you think your problem is solved enough, why is it the mass of people are not interested to come to temple? They think, first thing, they do not know they have a problem. And second thing, they do not know the temple is the only place the problem can be solved. Every day, they, even if they recognize there is a problem, every day they are looking in the newspaper, what is the latest? Oh, latest we have done like this, correct? Uh, one new technology we have made, we can cut a wheel like this. They are thinking, here, this will save me. Why are they looking at that? Because they think this will save me. This will not save you, sir. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. This will save you. But people, you give them time, one hour, they will not chant Hare Krishna. They will see what latest the scientists have done. Are what they have done in 300 years. Okay, what they will do tomorrow, the let me see. Till now, what they have done? Have they solved this problem? Have people have stopped dying? Oh, yes, how are you? Ek dawai didi ab tum nahi maroge. Ek dawai didi ab tum bimar nahi padoge. Ek dawai didi ab rebirth nahi hoga, guaranteed. And ek dawai didi ab buddha nahi hoga. Yes, how are you? Bana hai kya? Kuch kisi ne hai kya? You bring him. Now, they may say we achieve, but where your progress? The problem is wahi ke wahi. But we create an illusion of progress. And people who are not intelligent cannot see actually nothing has happened. Situation is where it is. So Krishna conscious Prabhupada said we should become very, very serious. Then we can see the cheating. Otherwise we get cheated. Take it. What do people do? Either they do two things. When you tell them these are the problems of life. First thing it takes time to convince them. Birth, old age, disease, death are your real problem. Bhagavad Gita, what does Krishna say? Janma mrityu jara vyadi dukha dosanu darshanam if a person has vision, he understand these are my four main problems. So I am not saying, Krishna is saying. Itana hi convince karna bahut time lagta hai. After that fellow comes to ground, his legs are on the otherwise he is flying. Then he said, okay, I accept this problem. <laughs> what do you accept the problem? Who wants to be a problem? And then what he does generally, because they cannot solve the problem, 90% civilization today is drinking. We can say the material civilization has failed. Why are they drinking? That means they want to forget. There is no way now. Why do you drink? Because you want to forget. Because there is no solution of the problem. And simply some people say, I don't get sleep in the night. I am in so much anxiety. Why sir? Because there is no solution of the problem. Actually, if you tell somebody the problems of life, small child is laughing, playing, tell him why you are laughing. Tell you the problem. <laughs> His whole smile will go. But he can't understand. Therefore, he is happy in ignorance. 
ignorance is bliss that is called. But if suppose a reasonable man is there, tell him the problems of old age, tell him the problems of death, tell him the pro varieties of diseases which are there in this world, which you may get. Uh, you know, so, so many kind of, you sometimes get shocked. So Krishna is giving a certificate that this place is Dukkhalayam, how can you make it Sukhalayam? That is what the whole metal civilization is fighting. They are fighting against the Dukkhalayam nature, you want to change it. From childhood, now we are sitting here, if the fan is very forceful, we feel cold. You are fighting, right? With some people in Mangalore, I think will start wearing sweater now in this climate. If we laugh, this is the temperature person. So, Dukkalem, why we are fighting? When it is hot, why are you sitting below? Because we are fighting against the heat. So, continuously my life is, I am fighting. But this fight, nobody can win. Because Krishna is certifying Dukkalem. It's designed. It's deserved. This word is designed for, if you look at a material platform, somebody wrote to me recently, that please help me, uh, whole night I don't get sleep, I am in so much anxiety. You know, what will happen in my future, will I get a job, and how I have so many responsibilities, what will happen, I am so much tense. So I said, if you remain on the metal platform, then if I tell the truth more to you, <laughs> what sleep you will jump now. <laughs> so reality on a metal platform is actually miserable. Krishna is himself saying, this word of Dukkalayam, whatever you do, you cannot be happy here in this world. Materially, this world is not a place for happiness. Sada samudvigna dhyam asadgraha. Prahlad Maharaj also says there is constant misery in this world. So therefore a person should be serious. Because there is a problem. When you have a problem, you need to solve the problem or just live like that. Suppose you have a toothache tomorrow. Take care. You will solve that or you will simply suffer? You will try to solve now. But such foolish civilization it is, everybody is suffering birth, all the disease, death, and nobody wants to solve it. They simply want to suffer. This is madness or not? Pagal hai lo. Daat ke dard kar raha. Jaoge hospital hai nahi jaoge. Ya ko ke let me suffer. What do you say? You will go to doctor or say let me suffer. So similarly this problem has to be solved. So Krishna is saying here, he is giving a way. Mahamupetya Punar Janma. He says, come to me. If you come to me, this problem is solved. Otherwise, no way anybody has been able to solve this problem. There is no way you can solve this problem on the middle platform. This problem can all be, only be solved by Maam Upetya. A Brahma, next shloka says, A Brahma Bhuvana Loka Punar Avartya Narjuna Maam Upetya Punar Janma Maam Upetya Kauntaya Punar Janma Na Vidyate. He says, Arjuna, if somebody, same word, Mamu Pete, I'll come in the next shloka. If somebody comes to me, he'll not come back to this world. And in the previous shloka, yesterday, what does Krishna say? Sulabha. If you take to devotion service, Sulabha they use for some toilets, not <laughs> Sulabha. But Sulabha means actually Sanskrit, it doesn't mean toilet. Sulabha means both easy. Hai. So it is very easy. It's a very easy way. And who is giving this way? Krishna himself. Krishna is telling a problem in this world and he's saying, please come back to the spiritual world. And Prahlad Maharaj, now we can add, Nati Vidu, Swart Gati Bhi, Krishna. They don't know what is their real self-interest. They don't know. Why? Dura Shaya Ye Bahi Artha Manina. They are lost in so many external things. Correct? They are hoping against hope. Somehow they can make this word Sukhalayam. When Krishna who designed this word says, I have designed it for Dukkha, how can he make it Sukha? Nati Vidu Swart Gati Me Vishnu. They don't know. If I go to Vishnu or Krishna, then only my problem is solved. Correct? They don't know that. They are not interested in that. Somehow, not one individually, what are the Nobel Prize being given for? The people who are trying to make this word at Sukhalayam. It cannot be done, sir. You give 100 Nobel Prize, proper says mutual gifting society. I give you Bharat Ratna, you give me Padma Shri, I give you Nobel, mutually we make. And make fool of everybody. We have not solved the real problem of society. For what you are giving award? Have you solved the real problem? No. Correct? Real problem is not solved. Simply we are 
fooling the whole society. And people see progress is happening, progress is happening. Now he got Bharat Ratna, the progress is happening. <laughs> now he got Nobel Prize. Nothing is happening, everything is as it is. You're getting this is a very important point. Please try to understand. So Prahlad Maharaj is giving a very serious point. And Natai Vidu, you do not know. The whole civilization does not know of a real interest to go to Vishnu. Therefore, Vedic culture, Varnashrama. Varnashrama is the puzzle for the modern society. They keep saying that uh, the, our problem of Vedic culture is caste system. Caste system never was there in the Vedic culture. That is your misunderstanding and misapplication has happened in Kali. And they suffered enough. And they'll continue suffering till they misapply. But originally it's not. It's Varnashrama. It's a natural division of the society. But what is the essence of the division? To cooperate to serve Vishnu. Somebody knows to do arti, somebody knows to do cooking, somebody knows to do clean the temple. Everybody is cooperating to serve Vishnu. There is nothing higher and lower in that. Everybody is cooperating to serve Vishnu. That is the essence of Varnashrama. Varnashrama is not one person sitting over another person. See, I am senior to me. That's nonsense. When that became, it collapsed. Correct? If so many temples in this district only you can go. If you don't have thread, they will not give you good food. They will sit, yeah, sit somewhere. Something they will give you rice or something. <laughs> they will not give you sweets. That only for if you go with the thread. You know? So that exploitation has not stopped. It is going on. That nonsense is still going on. Hmm? So, uh, the what is the essence? So, the Swartha Gati for the whole civilization, not for one individual, or also for the individual, uh, the real selfishness to reach Vishnu. Why? Dukkharaya. This word is visible, no? So it is in, in your own self-interest you should chant Hare Krishna. Not only you should be serious, we should know it is my own self-interest I chant Hare Krishna. Otherwise, Dukkhalayam Asha. Stay here, stay. And what is the nature of this word? Dukkhalayam Asha Ashwata. Nati Vidu Swartha Gati Vishnu Durashaya He Bahi Arthamarina. Instead of understanding that, so much value we are giving to the so called nonsense achievements. What is the achievement? Are this achievement help me one inch to solve this whole problem? No. They only give an illusion of that. So many new, new diseases. I don't know where this kind of level of cancers were there before. And lifestyle diseases, or many of the diseases are called lifestyle diseases. It's diabetes blood sugar, blood pressure, these are all lifestyle diseases. You know, Prabhupada jokes many times, very funny thing. If you see in the morning today, nowadays, around the world, people you see running on the road or on the treadmill, this is in any middle class, upper class compulsory. They have to run or they have to go to a gym. And how much they hard work they do, correct? 100 kilo, 150 kilos, they are lifting and putting. Every college may have a college have a gym given up. Our morning will look bhakti hai hai, idhar idhar. says, this they want to do and they don't like that, a farm work. You see the very interesting thing, nobody wants to work on the farm today. But this they like. These are all lifestyle, which <laughs> made a funny lifestyle. Prabhupada said, northern civilization means sitting on chair and table and speaking nonsense all day. That is their advancement of civilization. They don't like to work with nature. Nobody. Isn't it true or not? Suppose say, Kheti karen. Kheti? <laughs> it's like so derogatory. Say, khana kaha se aega? Then you buy. Buy dal 200 rupees per kilo. Go. <laughs> buy. <laughs> so this is actually, it gives an illusion. It is giving an illusion. Mahamupetya punar janma dukkhale mashashutam naapnuvanti mahatma anaha. One more thing. Mahatma. This Mahatma title is a person who wants to go back to God and not who is doing politics in this world. It was given to a politician in India. In fact, Prabhupada wrote a letter to Gandhi. They give up this petty politics and even nobody is interested to listen to you now. Please come. You are so much famous in this whole world. The service you can do, I can't do. In fact, they asked. He didn't write in the letter, but the devotees asked Prabhupada, why did you write to Gandhi? He repeatedly wrote letters to him. Your, your unknown friend. Please give me two, three weeks. The devotees asked Prabhupada, why you are begging him time? Prabhupada said, what? The kind of fame he achieved, very few people achieved in the history of the world. True? He was famous every part of the world. Everybody knows Gandhi. If you, and anyway he was holding Gita all the time. That was always there. 
He would have just said, okay, now I have renounced, I'll teach Gita. He had a platform, a beautiful platform. True or not? He had a wonderful opportunity. Prabhupada said, no, he will stick to politics till the last breath. And Prabhupada wrote in the letter. In fact, he predicted. He said, you will see very soon an inglorious death. The same thing which went to some more people before who were killed. You know, Prabhupada wrote their names also. Twice in the letter he says that. Please, very soon you will see any shot dead after. You know, people will stick. So that is not Mahatma. Mahatma means not is sticking adjustment in this world. He wants to go to Krishna's kingdom. Not is interested in not going to moon or Mars. Just imagine how misguided a civilization is. Suppose one man tomorrow goes to Mars, look at them. They will think we have achieved something. All India is struggling. If we can send one man to moon itself, they will think we achieved something. We are saying, Ah, Brahma, even moon, you forget Mars, you forget, go to the highest planet. Brahma's planet, it's no use. Because there also, oh, old age is there, disease is there, death is there, and then rebirth again. Correct? Did you solve the problem? No. So, so we are dealing in a very difficult condition. And people do not appreciate what we are doing, what the message is. But if anybody looks with a cool head, it's a very, very important movement. It is not a religious movement. Is it a religious movement, Kevin? Kaya religion, kaya faith ka baat ho raha It's a very serious thing you're talking. That we are, kya yaha buddha nahi hota kya loog? Kya muslim buddha nahi hota, hindu buddha hota, aisa hai kya? It is common for everybody. We are talking science. Birth, old age, disease, death are the four problems for the soul. Just like soul and matter is different, spiritual world and material world is different. And soul with the matter cannot be smooth. Because soul is eternal, sat. The world is asat. The soul is full of knowledge. The world is full of ignorance. Soul is full of happiness. This world is full of miseries. It's incompatible for the soul. Why does we don't like to stay in this world? But Krishna knows the nature of the soul is Satchidananda. Krishna knows that is where he is instructing there. Dukhale. So why when some soul hears this question, Dukhale. I don't want Dukha. Why is it you don't want Dukkha? Because the nature of the soul is to be happy. The nature of the soul is to be permanent. We don't like death. We don't like ignorance because the nature of the soul is to be chit, full of knowledge. Okay, so this is not a place for the soul to stay. Uh, Prabhupada's Guru, Bhaksana Prabhupada should say, rather this is no, world is not a place for a gentleman to stay. Okay? So all of us should make a determination, become very serious, just like yesterday I said, every day at the end of the day what you should do? How much I chanted, how much I read, how much service I did, and how much time I wasted. We should write down. And then we should offer prayer to Guru and Krishna. That how can I improve? Please give me strength. Here I can improve. Everybody should introspectively work. Okay? Then we will, our advance will come. And among all the tamasha going in this world, we will not miss our real business of life. Take care. It's not the other things don't do. You have to eat, you have to do something. But don't forget your real mission of life. Just like sometimes colleges when people join, they forget that there are exams. football, You've seen so many, they just forget. Your exam again. He's lost. So similarly, our life is uh, for some preparation, for some exam. So that we can give up this Dukkhalyam word and go to Krishna's shelter. Srila Prabhupada ki, Bhagavad Gita ki.